Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how we can keep the site footer always at the bottom of the page. Sometimes when we are working on a website, you might get into a situation where you don't have enough content on the page to push the footer down to the bottom of the page. In this situation, you might see the footer floating in the middle of the page somewhere, which doesn't look that good. And we are going to solve exactly this problem using a CSS property called Flexbox. So let's look into the problem first and then we will get to the solution. This is a sample web page that I created to show my problem. So this is my sample web page and this is my header. This is my main content and this is my site footer. So as we can see that I don't have enough content on the page so that's why my footer is floating in the middle of the page. But what I want is I want my footer to go on the bottom of the page. It should always be on the bottom of the page no matter how much content do I have on the page. So let's look at how the web page is structured right now. So I will go into my code editor. So here is my uh, here is the structure of my web page. Here is my header. Here is my main content. My main content is inside the main tag and here is my footer. All the three tags, the header, the main content and the footer, they are all wrapped inside a div called site wrapper. And all my styles are present inside the style.css. So if I go in style.css, I have the styles for body, for header, for footer. Everything is styled, but I still have the problem and the problem is that my footer is floating in the middle of the page. This looks ugly and I always want my footer to be on the bottom of the page no matter how much content do I have on the page. In order to solve this problem, I am going to write some styles. I can write my style either in index.html or I can prefer to write my style in style.css. But for this particular video, I am going to write the styles over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the style tags to write my styles. I'm going to target the main parent container, which is the site wrapper. So I will copy this site wrapper. And let me show you again. The site wrapper is the main container, the main parent container, which, which contains the header, main and footer. All the header, main and footer, they all are contained within the site wrapper, which is a div. So I target this site wrapper and I'm going to give it a display property of flex. As soon as I do that, I save this, I go back to my web page and you see that the site structure is completely changed. My header now appears over here. This is my main content and this is my site footer. And this is not what I want. I want my site structure to remain exactly the same. And this, this is usually something that happens when you use the flexbox property. As soon as you use the flex property, it will start showing all the child elements side by side. In order to solve this problem, you go here and you write flex direction and the flex direction to be column. And when I save this property, you go back and your site structure is back to normal. But still my footer is floating in the middle of the page. So I go here and I give a min height property, a minimum height of 100 VH means the viewport height. So it will, I want this parent element to take the 100% height of the visible viewport. So after doing this, if I go back to the page, the problem is still not solved. But now what I want is my main content. This is my main content. I want my main content to expand and take all the available space. So you see that my main content is wrapped inside the main tag. So I'm going to target main and I'm going to give it a property of flex one. And when I do that, you go back to the page and you see that now the footer is not floating in the middle anymore. The footer is now on the bottom of the page and this is what I want. So what exactly happened? So this flex property is a shorthand property for flex grow, flex shrink and flex basis. So 
as soon as the flex grow property becomes one so my main content grows to take all the available space and pushes the footer down to the bottom of the page this is what I want and this solves the problem but what you can also do is you can also give flex one zero and auto that means my flex grow property is going to be one flex shrink is going to be zero and flex basis is going to be auto so this is going to remain the same when I go back to the page my page remains the same way what I can also do is I can also add some more paragraphs so for example if I go and uh, write maybe 10 different paragraphs with uh, uh, let's say some random text of uh, let's say 50 characters 50 uh, words each and when I go back to the page you see that I have more content on the page now and my site footer is still on the bottom and if I have less content so I will go back I save this and now I go back I have less content and footer is still on the bottom of the page so this solution only four lines of CSS I will show you again so to the main parent element you write display flex flex direction column and minimum height of 100 VH and to the main element which you want to grow and take all the available space you just give a property of flex 10 auto or you can also give a just a flex property of one they both are going to work so this basically solves your problem so I hope you like this video if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments please leave it in the comments comment section and I'll see you in the next video thank you for watching and you have a good one